Hey guys, today I'm doing an extremely highly requested video which is all about how to get a nice arch. So we're talking today about beautiful ballet feet. Now obviously we all kind of focus on the arch of the foot but there is more to it than that. It is also about weight placement and about using the right technique and the right turnout. So I've decided to split this into two videos because I think that actually dancing in normal kind of flat ballet shoes and dancing on point is very different and how to get your feet to look beautiful in both is a little bit different obviously. So today I'm going to be talking about in your normal flat ballet shoes how to get beautiful ballet feet. Now I just want to say before we get into this video that I personally when I started ballet again when I was 26 did not have beautiful ballet feet by any means, my feet were very average <laughs> and it's been over the last kind of four and a half years that I've been able to really work on my feet and now I think I have like quite nice ballet feet, they're not amazing but um, they've definitely improved and I think that they look quite nice, I'm quite happy with my feet, they're okay. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you all of the tips and tricks that I've done over the last four years on how I've managed to improve my feet. So we're going to start in first position and we're going to make sure that our arches are lifted so that means not rolling forward with our feet, make sure our arches are nice and lifted, knees are pulling up, pulling together here and we're going to releve in first position. And from here we're going to plie, and when we plie, what I'm doing is I'm really pushing the arch of my foot to the side. And now from here, the idea is that I'm going to straighten and keep that sensation in the arch of my feet pushing out to the side, and then lower. So let's just do that again. So we're going to releve up, plie, pushing the arches out, straighten the legs, and lower. What we don't want to do is releve, I'm here, and then as I straighten, just kind of relax everything and come to here. No, when I straighten, I want to be thinking about pushing out, pushing out, pushing out, pushing out, and trying to keep that arch lifted. So the other one that's really good to do is just in parallel, and we're going to really push forward and take it in turns, but I'm not just doing this, I see some people doing it like just kind of, oh yeah, up and down, up and down, no, every time that I come up, I'm really pushing my arch out, and change, and again, really putting all of the weight that I have onto that arched foot, so that it's going as far forward as it possibly can every time. Let me show you from the side. What we don't want to do is just be coming to here and just kind of changing like this. Every time I come up, I want to look at this, push. Do you see that? This is where I'm comfortable and I could easily just keep my relevant here. No, I'm really gonna push that heel forward and change. Push that heel forward, push the heel forward and it's this work, and it hurts, and it's a lot of effort, but it's this work that's going to eventually give us those beautiful ballet feet. Now another thing that we can do is as we're here, we can plie to increase that stretch. So we can plie and really force that arch even more. And what that also is doing is elongating behind the toes. So it's making that much more flexible. And of course, in parallel, we can do our releves as well. So really pushing those arches out. And again, stretching as I straighten my knees, I want to keep my arches pushing forward. So when it comes to having a beautiful tondu, and obviously this is gonna help us strengthen our feet and everything, what a tondu is not is just point and close, point and close. What we really want to be thinking about with each tondu is getting to this point. Now, quite often, I see people come into here, and I even do it if I'm <laughs> being lazy, but this isn't right. We need to be pushing our arch as high as it will possibly go until we can then extend into the full point. But it's not about lowering that arch. I need to keep that arch lifted even though it's just the demi point. Obviously, it's exactly the same on the other side. So as I'm drawing the leg out, I'm lifting that arch, but just leaving the toes on the floor. So it's not this, it's this. I hope you can see the difference. And then from there, 
we can point to the side. Now, something else you can do if you want to work on the flexibility is you can actually practice this. And what this is going to do is to stretch out all of the muscles and the tendons on the front of the foot, which is going to give you a lot more flexibility. Now, I would recommend doing this just one foot at a time so that it's not too intense and you're in complete control of how much you're doing this stretch. Now there are some people who do both feet at the same time. If you're going to do this, be very careful and use a bar, use something to support yourself. But that one is very intense and I wouldn't recommend doing that one. I know that some people do it and I've shown you it just so that you know that it exists, but I personally don't recommend doing that one because it is very intense and it can be dangerous if you don't have the strength yet or the flexibility to be able to be in that position. So instead, Again, what I recommend is just doing it one foot at a time and just stretching out. Because you can see, I can control if I want less weight, I can take some weight off. If I want more weight, I can put some more weight on. And again, the same on the other side. So something else about beautiful ballet feet is not just how you use your arch, but how you use your whole foot and the alignment of your whole foot. So for example, if I come um, into fifth position, now I can be using my full arch I'm using my full arch right now, but my heel is sinking to the floor, and it's very different. You can see that is a much more beautiful line than this. I'm using my full arch in both, but it's just in one, I'm pushing my heel forward, and it's exactly the same to the side. So, I can come to here, I'm using my full arch, I'm pushing out as much as I can, but my heel isn't forward, and you see as soon as I put my heel forward, that is a much nicer line. So that is also really important, it's not just about the arch, because my arch is full there, but I'm sickling, it has to be here. Another exercise that's going to be really good, not just for flexibility and just getting the feeling of the arch, but actually making it strong enough to hold, is to take one foot in coup de pied, and then we're going to just do relevés on one foot, and every single time, pushing the arch as far as it will go, and really pulling up. And this is going to strengthen your feet so much doing one-footed relevés. Obviously, we need to do the same on the other leg. And again, with this, it's all about what you're thinking about. Because I can just be doing it and thinking, yep, yeah, that's fine. But I'm not actually going to my full, full, full relevé. And so every time I do this, I really need to be thinking about pulling up, straightening that knee, and getting right over the ball of my foot here so that my weight placement is correct so I can really extend my arch. I also just want to say that these are just what I've done and you must be very, very careful because obviously when we're talking about the feet, we are also talking about the ankles and so you do need to be really careful obviously um, around your feet, your ankles, your Achilles, your arch, all of those things. So the best thing is always to ask your ballet teacher and get them to look at your feet and get them to give you some exercises to do at home and things like that. Um, because they're the ones that are going to know your feet best and also know your level and know how aware of your weight placement and how aware of your own body you are. So I really hope that was helpful guys. As I said, please be careful when you're trying these exercises and they might not be for everyone, but the best thing to do really is just throughout all of your ballet class to bear in mind all of these things that I've been saying. Um, when you're doing your plies, your tondus, your releves, all of those things. Even if you don't want to add in any other exercises, if you just think about the things I've been talking about um, and apply them to your normal ballet class, you're going to notice a difference. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!